there is fear. Yes, there is isolation. Yes, there is sickness. Yes, there is even death. But they say that in Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds singing again. They say that after just a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes, but blue and gray and clear. They say that in the streets of Assisi, people are singing to each other across the empty squares. Keeping the windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of family around them. They say that a hotel in the west of Ireland is offering free meals and delivery to the housebound. Today, a young woman I know is busy spreading fires with her number through the neighborhood so that the elders may have someone to call on. Today, churches, synagogues, mosques, and temples are preparing to welcome and shelter the homeless, the sick, the weary. All over the world, people are slowing down and reflecting. All over the world, people are looking at their neighbors in a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to a new reality. To how big we really are. To how little control we really have. To what really matters. To love. So we hope and we remember that. Yes, there is fear. But there does not have to be hate. Yes, there is isolation. But there does not have to be loneliness. Yes, there's sickness. But there does not have to be disease of the soul. Yes, there is even death. But there can always be a rebirth of love. Wait the choices you make as how to live now. Today, breathe. Listen, behind the noises of your panic, the birds are singing. The sky is clearing. Spring is coming. And we are always encompassed by love. Open the windows of your soul. And though you may not be able to touch across the empty square. Sing. Sing.